CPU. CPU is the main unit of computer. As we all know, CPU act as a main unit of computer. Without CPU, computer is not possible. We can't think about computer without CPU. It's alternately referred to the microprocessor as microprocessors. It controls all the instruction it receives from the hardware, internal and external devices, and software running on a computer. The CPU is a small piece of a silicon chip placed into the CPU socket on the motherboard. It is usually in the shape of a square or rectangle, which contains millions of transistors that performs a wide variety of function. The speed of CPU is determined by the number of instruction it executes per second, which is measured in megahertz or MHZ. There are mainly three components of CPU. There are three components of CPU. First is memory unit that is called MU. The second is arithmetic and logical unit that is called ALU. And the third one is control unit that is CU. Let's come on first memory unit. It is the principal storage of the computer. It stores both data and instructions when it is arithmetic and logical unit ALU. This unit performs the arithmetic and logical operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Third one is control unit. It controls the operation of every other components of computer system. This unit also controls the transfer of data and instruction among other units of the computer. Second topic is the other topic is RAM. Full form of RAM is random access memory. Like we all know, computers have memory. The first memory is random access memory. It is a type of the memory that is available for the operating systems, programs and processes to use when computer is running. It can be accessed randomly at any time wherever information we entered in the computer goes into the ram if we enter something that information goes into the ram and remains there until the machine is working up to when the machine is working that information is saved in the ram it is a volatile memory and therefore Data and instruction are stored here temporarily. It's a temporary memory. When you switch off your computer or there is some power failure, the data is completely erased. RAM is of two types, static RAM and dynamic RAM. Example, RAM is like a blackboard that is constantly overwritten with new data. The common Used calculator is another example of RAM. ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. It is a type of memory which from which we can only read information but cannot write on it. We can read it but can't access it or write on it. It is a non volatile memory. Therefore, the information is stored permanently in it, even when the system is powered off or any power failure occurred. Data stored in ROM can neither be modified nor easily erased. A ROM stores the information instruction required to start a computer. There are three types of ROM. PROM EP ROM and EEP ROM. Example ROM is like an audio video disc. Once the songs are burnt on a CD, the disc contents cannot be changed. ROM chips 
are not only used in the computer but also used in microwaves, ovens and washing machine. Disk drive. A disk drive is a hardware component. A disk drive is a hardware component in a computer that enables user to read, write, delete and modify data on the storage disk. It is either a built-in or external components of a disk that manages the input output IO operation of the disk. Disk drive are of several types such as hard disk drive, CD drive, DVD drive, etc. The most commonly used disk drive is the hard disk drive SMPS. SMPS stands for Switched Mode Power Supply. It is essential for safe running of power consuming electrical and electronic appliances. SMPS use a switch regulator to control and stabilize the output voltage by switching the load current on or off. It transfers electric power from a source AC main to low voltage direct current DC. It always supplies a well regulated power to the motherboard. It regulates power to the motherboard and other parts of the computer and saves power. It has a built in fan to release the excessive heat during the time of computer within use. It also cools down the computer. Unregulated power supply with the help of SMPS regulate power supply to computer components. If voltage is so high then computer get damage and when the power supply is too high we can lose many parts of the computer and got burn in the computer system modem modem stands for modulator and demodulator it is a device which allow a computer to send or receive information through telephone lines by converting digital data into an analog signal modulator converts digital information of a computer to analog mode at the transmitting end and demodulator further converts back the analog signal to digital at the receiving end. Modem can be classified as internal modem. It is a device that is already installed in computer. It is in the computer. It is in the form of a card that is inserted into one of the slots on the main board. External modem. It is a modem that is installed outside the CPU. It is in the form of a box that is normally connected to USB port of a computer. This type of modem are, has indicators lights that display the speed of a modem. In is measured in BPS and KBPS kilobits per second. Although a modem can have a maximum speed of 56 kbps, but if the telephone line's quality is not good, it has not be able to work with its maximum speed. Our internet is also came with the help of external modem. With the help of external modem, we can experience our high speed of internet at home. PC card modem is specifically designed for laptop. The PC card modem is also used for laptops and handheld computer. It is similar to the size of a credit card. It is like size of a credit card and fits into the PC card slot or notebook and handheld computer. So no cable is required then 
that the telephone line connected one can remove this modem when it is not needed except for its size pc card modem is like the combination of external and internal modem it's also have internal and external modem both this card is powered by a computer it gets its power from the computer heat sink a heat sink is an electronic device the heat sink is an electronic device which is designed to disperse the heat generated by the cpu it's also disperses the it's also cools down the cpu it is made up of matter and it is made up of a metal such as a copper or aluminium alloy the normal the users a fan to keep the processor cool heat sink is commonly used in all cpus it is also used in refrigeration and air conditioning system gpus graphic processing system and video card processors ports a computer port is is a slot on the motherboard that act as a point of connection between a computer and external device cables of external device like keyboard mouse printer monitor etc are plugged into these ports to attach them to the computer there are several types of port which are used to connect various external devices to the computer most of the port are visible at the back sides of the cpu cabinet while a few are placed in front the placement of these port may vary from computer to computer as you can see in the computer some ports are on the face side and some on on the back side some of these ports are colored coded that identify a specific device to be plugged in them we now we are going to explain the port picture and explanation of that thing first one is serial port the picture have 1 to 3 4 5 and 9 pins in them it transmit data one bit at a time over a over a single wire usage it is used for devices that do not required high speed transmission that is mouse keyboard it is also used to connect modems hence called as communication port and that port is called also called communication port parallel port it transfer several bits of data together at one time usage of that ports is used to that devices that required high speed data transmission such as printer also used to connect scanner printers cd writers external hard disk drive etc universal serial bus usb port usb port it is used to transfer data and can also act as a power supply for device connected to it the usage of usb port devices that can be connected to usb port including keyboard mouse printer scanner flash drives phones tablets digital and web cameras etc ps2 port ps2 connector was developed by ibm in 1987 ps2 port is now considered a legacy port as it has been replaced by the usb port usage it was used for attaching keyboard and mouse to the computer fire wire also known as ieee1394 it was developed by apple incorporation in 1994 it can transfer large amount of data with speed up to 800 mbps 
and can connect up to 63 different devices the usage of firewire it is used to connect camcorders and video equipments of the computer vga video graphics array it is similar to the serial port connector but the serial port has pins whereas vga connector has holes with the increase in the use of digital video vga ports are generally being replaced by hdmi and display port usage of vga it is used to connect monitor or projector to a computer hdmi high definition multimedia interface port it is a digital connector that can carry high definition video and audio it also can send audio to different formats the usage of hdmi it is used to connect high definition ultra high definition devices like computer monitor our tv setup box hdtv gaming consoles high definition cameras etc to the computer e ethernet port an ethernet rj45 connector looks like a telephone line rj11 connector its usage is used to connect your computer to the wired network audio line 1 it's enable to a user to connect an external audio device to the computer line up it allows external speaker headphones or other output device to be connected to the computer mic port it helps in plugging microphones into the computer system